Hey folks, so I got a haul of stuff from a uh, townwide yard sale. The uh, last of townwide yard sales, or the last of yard sales basically for the duration of the year, I suspect. Might be the odd one yet in the odd town in the area, but generally this is kind of the last hurrah. So anyway, I went yesterday, which was Friday evening between 3 and 5.30, and bought a few things so uh, I'll show you that stuff and I'll also show you the stuff I picked up today which is a Saturday so I'll show you a bit uh, did get a bunch of books uh, area histories again about four hundred dollars worth of books retail uh, for under thirty dollars so it did pretty good uh, one from Kelwood Manitoba Pemina Manitou area Swan River Valley, uh, Medina area, uh, Hills of Home, which I think, you yeah, know, Municipality of Thompson, uh, Ninga, and Nipua, and I'll show you some other stuff before I show you some more books. Uh, got a sterling silver picture frame for $3. It's a sterling on the outside edge, so yeah. Uh, probably good for $30, $35, something like that. So pretty good. I noticed it was $4. They reduced it. So I guess they maybe had it in a previous sale. So it's kind of cool. Um, a pin from the Vancouver uh, British Empire Games from 1954. I think that cost me all of a dollar. Um, and I picked up a GoPro camera. For two dollars, I haven't tested it out yet, but for two bucks, I figured why not give it a shot. Uh, apparently, the guy got it for Christmas this year, didn't use it, and ended up in the garage sale for a dollar. Still has uh, the plastic over the uh, lens, so yeah, I might be using a GoPro from now on. Who knows? So we'll see how it works, and got a few accessories with it. So I've got accessories I can use with from my other camera as well so but for two bucks that was a deal uh of course i buy a lot of my supplies from red sales at times too uh some sales orders or receipt books for two dollars for a pack of four so couldn't leave them behind uh just something to sort some parts and pieces for a buck there uh let's get some more books millwood and district homecoming uh, let's see, Municipality of Cornwallis, Whitewood and Area, Volume 2, and I think I've got Volume 1 in here too, uh, Sunnyside of Riding Mountain, so that was, alright, there's Volume 1 of Whitewood and Area, that's the Saskatchewan, Rapid City and District, uh, Grains of History, I'm not sure what that one's about, uh, oh, Canadian Wheat Pools. So, the elevator system. Uh, Capone, Chicago. Bought this just for some research purposes. And Ships of Lake Winnipeg and the Red River. So, that's kind of a neat one. I might keep that one for myself. And then got uh, some Barbie accessories. This is kind of weird teen fashion accessories. So, there's little buttons and beads and zipper and little parts and pieces for your Barbies. And no UPC and dated 1970. So it's kind of neat, kind of different. Uh, that was a throw in actually with some other stuff I bought. Um, PSV, so passenger vehicle, passenger bus license plate, and Kentucky truck trailer license plate. And let's see, what else? And also got this primitive. Lightning rod weather vane, somebody's handmade weather vane. Uh, arrow's got a little bend in it, I can fix that. Um, this is a little bit more involved trying to replace one of these little cups, these little wind cups. I don't know if they, yeah, they're meant to move, so who knows. But uh, I couldn't leave it behind, it was two dollars, so yeah, I had to, had to pick it up. Even without the that one cup, it's still a it's still a good piece. 
And let's see, I got three register grates. I bought two because one is broken. Um, so I went back today, on a Saturday, and picked up the broken one because one of the flaps on one of the other ones is broken. So I bought, went back and paid five bucks for the second one for parts. The other two cost me ten apiece. Um, they're good for probably forty apiece. Those two anyway. This one for parts. Uh, the front grill on the front is probably still good for twenty-five, thirty dollars. So yeah, and well, let's see what else. So also got a little RMS Saxonia steam chip ashtray little souvenir piece uh post office bag lock is what that is if you ever see these usually they're attached to the bags uh this one was a little longer on a bag and fish food tin i've got a guy that collects uh pet related stuff so maybe he'll buy that if he doesn't have it already And a couple or a pair of moccasins or uh, mucklucks, I should say. Not moccasins, mucklucks. Uh, some beating issues on the front, but still not badly done. They were $10, so just a good example of older beading. Um, Appears to be partly hand sewn, partly machine sewn, but nice old fabric and such. Um, not sure if these are, that's that old, that one. It's maybe, uh, maybe 70s or 60s or something, or 50s. Maybe older, we'll see. Um, let's see what else. Also got a clarinet. It was $3 for parts only. And the reason being the mouthpiece is missing apparently but for three bucks i will buy those all day long good decor item basically um yeah i might have one with a mouthpiece i can piece together and get a whole one and let's see got one more thing kind of cool uh but first again i'm buying supplies at garage sales this is a box of foam board um great for packing and shipping stuff and backing pictures and that sort of thing but i also got a picture of jesus here um i think that's who it's supposed to be it's by uh what's the fellow's name here Felucci, Felcucci, i think is how you pronounce that i did look up the artist he is a known artist he's well known for illustrations mainly but he did a lot of oils as well. Stuff has sold previously. That painting's worth, well, it cost me $20. And the painting's worth 20, or sorry, painting's worth 200 to $400. So not bad, not bad for a garage sale, $20 purchase. And that's it, folks. That's what I got. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping etc. Take care folks.